to deal with this, yeah. right? The, the England Lionesses, we can't... I don't think we should call them Lionesses. It's oh, gen... come on, that's their name. Well, on the day that Wimbledon has announced it's no longer going to call women... Because that's about their marital miss, status. Because apparently somebody in the future may be upset by it. This gender specificity of Lionesses is causing <laughs> it's, me... It's gender what? It's trigger... what? what? Gender what? specificity <laughs> of the England Lionesses <laughs> is triggering my anxiety. And uh, it really okay. should be gender-neutral lions. Anyway, so, we'll move on. Um, <laughs> let's get to winning, right? Why would you disagree with Phil Neville, the Lionesses coach, right? Who, to me, spells out the bleeding obvious. To have a winning mentality, and he won more trophies than most people in oh, the yeah. history of British football, to have a winning mentality, you've got to view losing as bad as no, losing. OK, so you've got to put into context of what he just said. And, of course, every top-level coach has got to say exactly what he just said, Actually, right? they don't all say that, though. But he didn't say failure. He said, we will consider it a failure. Of course it will be considered. They will well, consider the themselves thing. failure. I don't think it is, because I think overall, when you're judging the tournament... We will consider it a failure the means they failed. The, no, thing is that, they the thing is that from the moment Phil Neville got that job, all he's talked about is winning the World yes. Cup. He said the very first thing he did when he got the job was watch three matches of United States, who they're playing tonight, because he knew so that to said, win the World yeah. Cup, he had to beat Toby, United States. They don't win. He's not going to go around the dressing room tonight going, you're a failure, no, you're no, a failure. I think so that's an important thing. What he won't do, he won't celebrate. He's going to build on a certain amount Susanna, of no I, I, I think, think that's an important I, I think he will. I think he will change the narrative completely if they lose. Because you've got to remember, this is the USA. This is world ranked number one, mm. since pretty much consistently since 2004. Mm. I think the USA are leagues ahead of England in Nonsense. terms of... No, they, they're no, certainly not. I'm Phil Neville has been talking about that. No, I'm not talking about the quality. I actually believe England will win. But I mean what's been given... But why are they leagues ahead? Them. Grassroots level. Mm. So if you look the at these girls, Pierce, look them. at their Instagrams. They have millions of followers. They're yeah, yeah. millionaires. They have backing. They have so much support. The reason I feel strongly about this is that the reason why you should be so paramount about the importance and significance of winning is that it stills in you the right mentality to actually win big things. If you think that coming third is a success and you celebrate and you have to bus parade and so on, that permeates down through the team. It's like, we came third, great. Okay, Neville, he, Neville knows in that Manchester thing, United dressing room for 15 years with Alex Ferguson, mm -hmm. if they didn't win the Premier League, it was a disaster. So guess what? They won it more than anybody else. Yeah, but here's, here's the thing. OK, so... Conversely, I was in Russia for the World Cup last year, the Men's World Cup, and we started singing It's Coming Home. Suddenly, we were called arrogant and everyone was saying, you can't say that mm -hmm. until... So, so That's fine. That's, yeah. that's that fine. That's that meaningless. Element. So you have yeah. to have a balance. You have to have that I like a bit of arrogance <laughs> in my football team. You have teams. to have Not that ele Megan element Rapino. of arrogance. No, Not exactly. I, no, I find her annoying <laughs> Why? because she's so politicised. For me, Donald Trump said, you know, let your football do the talking. Yeah. She scored the goal and said... My football's doing the talking, right, and I like that. Yeah, but it's Quite. the way she, she's one of these sort of activist sports people. I don't really like any of them you doing can't. it. You don't, don't like people who are sports people crossing she into has... politics, whereas think... someone who's very politically motivated and opinionated yeah. crossed into football, managed the world 11 and 1. So how come it's Who are you talking right? about? You. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're reminding people of my glorious victory. Yeah, so why um, can't she do the you... same thing? It's, Here's, it's all right for my you. son that day, he was very upset. He told me that the whole trip was pointless because right. England hadn't won. Yeah. Right, well, so, I'm sorry to let yourself yeah. down. Does he view Susanna as a winner, though, despite everything? <laughs> it sounds like Does you're bringing that... your kids up the right way if they think that winning yeah, is exactly. all but also, important. But, Alice, exactly. I think there has, there's been a massive win here for women's football, exactly. and I think that needs to be celebrated. I think it has inspired a generation of girls to play football, and yep. that needs to be celebrated. The ratings need to be celebrated. 7.6 million And tonight Norway. it's going to be... Could be the really highest ratings of the, the only, year on British television. The only bronze we really want to remember is Lucy, Lucy. Correct. Lucy. winning the trophy. The terrorising. Megan Rapinoe tonight. I this will, tournament will. will have been a failure for England I if won't they see don't them as win. See, that no. doesn't mean I'm branding them failures as sports people. Mm. They're yeah. clearly very successful. Yes, yes. I'm talking no, no, about. No, no, I will campaign. say that they failed. They, failed. they started yeah. by wanting and expecting, and that's the key thing, to win the tournament. If they don't do it, they failed in their mission. The one thing that I think is really important in this whole debate about the women's football, we've got to stop comparing them. To yeah. the men, and I think that's what's been I really don't. good about this tournament. People have begun to move away from that. There is no comparison. Well, they're more between... successful than the men, aren't they? They started <laughs> well, the tournament expecting to win a year ago. But it's more than tonight. With you, to me, it's having the exactly the same well, the comparison. Conversation. Conversation. We don't compare heavyweight boxers to lightweight boxers because there is a 
power size differential. There is with men's and women's sport. We should just stop comparing the two. I like that analogy. I, I'm going to use that. Well, it's now. a good one, isn't it? It is a good I one. I thought about this morning. Like, what what am I really things... saying? What I'm really saying is where there is a physical advantage, clearly, mm. across the board, i.e. every heavyweight boxer, every lightweight boxer, yeah. obviously the heavyweights win. It's the same with most men's sport and women's sport. You can't compare the two. What you can say... I think they're just as skillful, but you think the men are the top bronze bronze goal has been incredible. showed us. I do I agree think, with so, that. Because I've kind of got the, the armour on ready for people telling me that, the, that technically they're not good. And I, I know there's a difference. I'm not technically they're here. good, but it's not as good as the men. I, I would agree with that. I would agree with that. And I think it would be silly for me to come here and say that they're as good as yeah. the men. I wouldn't it's even like to say It's not a battle you need to win. And it's not a battle. It's not a hill you need to die on. But the success obviously depends on whether England go on and win it. And yeah. I actually think we have a very good chance so do against I. USA. But if we don't, the USA are three time World Cup winners. Now stop stop Olympic finding goals. excuses. Stop finding excuses. I, I think so were Brazil success. for years and years, and then somebody beat them. You've got to have a mentality. The reason I love Neville is whether we win or lose, he's got these players thinking now that they can win and they should win, and that this game is about winning, not losing. And losing should hurt. One of the it should hurt. It and it doesn't matter hurt. to me. Your five-year-old son sounds great to me. <laughs> he hates losing, right? One of the <laughs> big ironies... When Susanna lost soccer aid for him... I was still happy to be involved. England, he hated it. He'll one be of the watching big... now. You can apologise to him. I think one of the yes, big I'm ironies... I'm so sorry. What's his name? Jay. So sorry, Jay. Love Jay. Especially as we were Jay, two nil you're up. my kind of lad. My lad, see, my son's... I got, so, look, I don't mind if you lose. I just won't talk to you for a week. He's like, come on. Mm. You got to win. I don't think that's a healthy parent. I don't really do that. Personally. I don't really do that. I really could feel like that as an Arsenal fan, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, no. What I would say, what I would say, what Losers. I honestly said to my kids when they all, they all played lots of sport, often to very high levels, and I would say to them, look, you've just got to give it 120 percent, right? Which I know doesn't exist before the pedants contact me. You've got to give <laughs> it. Since the arch pedant. You've got to give it everything, right? And then, then I'll say to you, if you if you come up short, I'll say, you know what? You gave it everything. Now let's work but hard and try and win. But you failed. No, exactly. What I wouldn't do, and I don't think what I wouldn't do is say, let's go and celebrate losing. Because they didn't want to celebrate losing. They were sickened by losing. I mean, and the England hurt. players won't will celebrate. Hurt. And they ended up winning team. more things than they lost because their mentality was winning's what it matters. It does partly depend why can on... He, why keep scoring? I'm going to celebrate the Lionesses when they come home. It depends on the expectations of the staff. Susanna, there's been progression, and I think It's not progression if you genuinely believe you should be winning the tournament. It's only progression if you meet your goals. And I'm not talking about, you know, there will have been... Hang on, you have to make progress before you meet your goals. But they haven't made progress. No. Yet, have they? They reached the semi final four years ago and in the Euro exactly two right. years ago. They haven't actually exactly made progress right. this unless is the they point. beat the but they've state. But they're ranked third, OK? So, at the moment, we're looking at kind of par, let's say, right? So, if they go one step further... No. Well, they're, we sec get, they're the second best out, left in the tournament. If we get knocked out the semi final again, it'll be, it'll be actually the same as we've done in previous recent tournaments. That's not progress. I Phil think Neville's they, I right. they've got better, by the way. But well, look, we all agree we want them to win, right? Absolutely. Of course. I want the gender-fluid Lions to win tonight. <laughs> I really do. Gender-neutral Lions, I'm sorry. Um, uh, I really do. I really do. And then we'll call them... Well, you see, it's interesting, isn't You're it? You're getting your hills to die on confused. Yeah.